How's it going everyone and welcome back to another YouTube video. So as you guys can see we've got quite the fleet going here. We've got the uh, new model Fruiser and we've got the F21. So I'm just going to give you guys a quick run around of the uh, new F14 design. So a lot of people have been interested in this design of F14. It's only just been released. I'll give you guys a quick run around. So obviously uh, I've paired this boat up with the the uh, Mudgeway trailer, as you guys can see, and I've also hooked a Toy Hatsu 30 horsepower to the back there with a couple mods, which I'll show you guys in a minute. But to uh, start off, obviously, this thing has quite a few different features from the older models. So, this one is a Freezer F14 XW. So this model is separate from the original F14 and it is built quite a bit differently. So as you guys can see already, it comes with some very, uh, very bulky sides. So they're quite wide. And it also comes with, a lot of people have noticed this already from photos, but it also comes with a raised floor. Pretty handy, especially now that, that uh, the edge in here has been quite a bit shorter. It reduces the uh, chances of slipping or anything like the older models. But yeah, you get quite a bit more space now, which is quite handy. Fit a lot of dive gear in there. You can have people standing over here and over here, and there's not a lot of, um, what do you like to call it, a lot of clustering about. But yeah, put quite a few extras on this one. So these are. Uh, Handrails, which come in extremely handy, I'd like to say. So what you can actually do is if you have dive fins that are quite long, you can actually shove your dive fins in here and they uh, sit nice and snug and they don't move. So you can use that as semi-storage, but not really storage. So anyone who's sitting on this chili bin, which is uh, an icy tech 56 litre bin, so she's a... Uh, it's good size, but she also works as a seat. So if you wanted, you can sit down here, and then you have grab rails either side, which comes in now particularly handy on those really rough days. And for you, don't already know this already, you can also buy a anchor seat, which come with the with the original models as well. But uh, yeah, you can actually have this as a seat up the front, and it also doubles as an anchor locker, as you guys can see. So you can store your anchor in there, nice and snug away, it doesn't get tangled. And yeah, use it as a seat as well, which can be quite handy. And um, yeah, I've also upgraded this model to alloy rod holders. So one there, one there, some on the other side, another two. And yeah, got the uh, bait boards sitting on rail blazers. That's all I've got to do. I want to take it off is unclip them on both sides so you guys can see and this bait wall comes completely off there so if you wanted a road cover in the future or you just didn't want to travel like that on the highway this can come straight off and you can also adjust the little wee mounts on the bottom just like so and the bait board comes in square just like that so yeah also comes with we uh, holders for your knives too, which is quite handy, which I quite like. And uh, on this model, I went with a sump as an extra. So what you can actually do is, uh, if you don't like the uh, concept of putting shit in your scuppers and draining it that way, you can actually buy a uh, sump which recedes into the floor. So if you were to clean it out and whatnot, all the uh, crap and stuff would end up flying out the back there, which is quite handy. But in this case, I have used that there, the wee uh, sort of bay there for my, my battery. So my uh, battery can sit in there quite nicely. Rightio, and another feature that I've added to this F14XW is a rail blazer mount on my handrail. So uh, what you guys can do instead of doing this, this is just the way that I've cho uh, chosen, 
is you can put your railblazer up here and have a wee arm that swings out, which can pivot always. But for this case, I've just added a railblazer, which fits on the end of my fish finder, which just fits nice and snug in there, like so. And she can sort of move quite a bit and pivot and whatnot, but yeah. On the days where you're, um, you're driving down the road or driving down a highway, you don't want your thing to get dirty or stuff on it, just take it straight out like that, chuck it in your truck, obviously put all the stuff back like that, and my wife came with the wee um, rubber seals like that, so I can just leave them dangling, and yeah, everything's all tight. Yeah, very, uh, very handy thing to have. And a, another thing that I've done to this uh, boat, I've put uh, extended side rails on the back here. So instead of having your uh, regular ones that come to about here, I've made them go right up over, just like that, which is, uh, yeah. It's way uh, better trying to get on the boat when you have something a bit higher to leverage off, which is quite nice. But yeah, she sets the boat pretty good. I've also put a uh, wee mod on the motor. So a lot of these motors come standard with not a lot of uh, wiring and stuff like that. The 50s do, but I don't think the 30s come with a lot. But uh, what I've done is I've wired in a regulator rectifier, which is this little thing right here, as you guys can see. So uh, for those of you with 30 horsepower that do not have a charging uh, module attached to it, a lot of the motors come with wee wires like that, that um, have wee blanking plates on them. So what you're going to do is buy one of them, it's called a regulator rectifier, and just wire it up to your current wires. Make sure the earths are earthed down nicely, all waterproofed. And I've just run my, uh, my wire out that front grommet there. So she's nice and watertight, and she works pretty good. Um, the motor on this boat, is uh goes all right top speed i've had it dry weight uh, i think i've had it around 40 k's an hour and loaded i think it does about 20 25 so it's not too bad especially with the size of the motor but, uh yeah other than that thing works pretty good i've also put a uh dive ladder on it as well so it's a bit easy to get in and out which is quite nice as well but uh, yeah, if you guys have any other further questions or opinions about the boat, make sure to leave them in the comments. But yeah, overall she goes pretty good. And yeah. Can't wait to uh, do a few more adventures in it. But yeah. Make sure to like and subscribe and yeah, I'll see you on the next one.